If God takes your baby, it's because heaven needed that baby. There's somebody in heaven that needed that baby. And if God puts that baby on earth, you needed that baby. 26-year-old Taylor Rodriguez remembers coming to grips with the darkest moment of her life. A routine ultrasound at just 26 weeks showed that her unborn child had what doctors said was a heart murmur, fluid behind her neck, and had not yet developed a jaw. Her whole airway is collapsed because your tongue is attached to your jaw, and once there is no jaw, the tongue is just falling back, and they cannot breathe. So at 37 weeks, doctors would have to perform an operation never done before at Turo Infirmary Hospital, a high-risk surgery that would require 25 doctors and nurses from Turo and Children's Hospital. The procedure would give mother and baby only a 50% chance of survival. We are going to secure the baby's airway while the baby is still connected with the mother with the umbilical cord. So we don't deliver the baby completely, we deliver the baby partially and then we try to secure the airway. I was left open and the umbilical cord connected to her the whole time they did her tracheostomy. So that's why I was like so high risk because I'm sitting there, you know, with open and blood coming out and she, they're trying to save her life, get her to breathe all was like in a matter of seconds. In total, the surgery would be two and a half minutes long. We actually lost the baby's heartbeat in the middle. And it, right at the moment when I was able to secure the airway, when we were able to open the airway, put the breathing tube, the baby's heartbeat came back. So it was right at a split second we were able to save Nina. But that wasn't the end. Three days later, Rodriguez's world would come crashing down once again. And they called and said, you know, something's wrong with her heart. She's going to have to go into emergency heart surgery. In a wheelchair and bound by stitches, Rodriguez would again have to depend on just her faith and her family. At just three days old, Nina, who is named after her great grandmother, would undergo 10 hours of open heart surgery and defy the odds once again. Through the whole thing, when she was so sedated and she, she looked like, you know, she, she was close to the other side, I feel like my grandma was holding her hand and pushing her back. And I think she has a big purpose. Kelly Brown, WDSU News.